Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you how to play and a full playthrough of Suro. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a very simple game. It's been around a long time. Um, Since 2004. Yeah, it's one of these, the classic games. Um, and I'm just, it's very easy to learn. Basically, you have these tiles. And I love the artwork on this. I want to, the artwork is very beautiful on this game. Um, but as you can see, this is the back of the tiles. All of them have different paths. And so basically, you deal each player three tiles. And you have your color, um, I call it stone, but you pick your color of stone. You place it on one of the little white lines on the outside of the board that's your starting point and then from then on you're following that line based on the tiles that you place down when you place a tile so let's just say i'm placing this one you move on the line you're on you move your stone to the end of that line um, the way you lose the game is if you get you can't actually if you have another play, you can't cause yourself to purposely lose the game. But you can, you will get to a point where you have nowhere to go. Like, if I placed that, I would already lose. Because as soon as your stone goes to the edge of the board, you've lost. Another way to lose, you both, both players lose if this happens. If you're, say, Anthony's here, and I place a tile... Here and I'm on this path. You would be, say you're right there, okay. and I actually you would be there. And there's a path there, I'm trying to make it to where. Basically, if I place a tile where our paths cross, like I have to go through him, both players lose. So you're trying to be the last player standing is basically the the key to this game, um, and you. You start with three tiles, you draw a tile after each play, you always have three tiles. If for some reason the tiles run out, you give the person that couldn't, did not get a tile, the dragon tile, and if, and if they, I don't see how they would actually get replenished. I think that's more for more than two players. Yeah. Because um, when a player is eliminated, all the tiles in their hand go back shuffled into the draw pile. So it's a two-player game. Basically, once a player's out, the other person's won. So, um, very easy. So, we're going to get started. Um, I have, with a three-player, the advanced uh, rule is if you eliminate someone, you get to pick out of their uh, tiles. And you always have three, so if you pick one, you have to obviously get rid of one. Or, or if you pick two, you have to get rid of two. And then you put them in the discard pile for other players to pick up later. Yeah, or the draw pile. Yeah, draw pile. Hold in. Okay. So who's going first? You're Usually the, the oldest goes first. Oh, you're the oldest. I'm the oldest, so. <laughs> so I'm going to put this here. And then I go on the line all the way to the end and draw a tile. Okay. It seems simple, but there's oh. actually a lot of strategy to this game. It's one of those simple, but um, there's so many things that you can, so many different ways that you can play because you have three tiles and it could affect you later. Yeah, this is a fast game, uh, 15 minutes to probably like 25, if you know what you're doing. We played with our son. It's It was his bedtime tonight, so we just decided to go ahead and play with just us two. But it is pretty, It's we haven't played two players. This is our first time, but we played several times with the three of us. And it pretty much both time. one time we Quentin and I eliminated each other. Did we do it twice? Yeah. 
We did that twice because there's only so many spaces. So the more players you have, actually it's a little more difficult because you run out of uh, places to go. Yeah, and this is, I, I believe, two to eight players. So I'm guessing when you're playing with eight players, it's pretty hard to figure out where to go. Yeah, I can't imagine playing this with more than three players. Okay, so oh, I haven't drawn tiles. It's funny, I get this tile every time. And a good way to eliminate someone, like if you you, you had a tile that you place next to someone, you could make them go off the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're trying to push them out of the game, basically. Trap them. Without allowing them, because Quinn took me down with him purposely when he got to a point where he either had to go to the edge of the board or he could take me out with him, so he, of course, took me out with him. I love this tile. It's the loop-de-loop -loop on all sides. It comes in handy when you get to the corners and it allows you to loop back. That's what I did. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of strategy to this game once it gets more tight where most of the cards or tiles been placed. The key is you want to stay away from this outer edge if you can, because it's easy to get trapped. Wow, this is tough. Like being on the edge is really hard. So a lot of the tiles will pretty much make you go to the edge and you lose. By my time, hoping you trap yourself. I'm buying time too. <laughs> oh, I didn't draw. The longer this goes, the harder it is to actually uh, find the right tile to uh, stay well, away from that. You end up like the path goes like. You have to really watch because you could, it seems like a good path, but then when you follow the whole thing, it could end up at the edge. Because I mean, like this path here, if you were on that path, say if I was going that way, it would end up at the end.
Yeah, so this is a quick filler game. This is you off too. Maybe that easy. <laughs> yeah, if all the tiles are placed pretty much and no one has won, both of us become uh, victorious. So there's ways where two, both you could lose. One person could lose, or both you could win. Well, that's a long path. We're getting down to we don't have any more tiles to draw because we have them all. Yep. So either both of us go win or one of us is gonna be pushed out somehow. It's crunch time. Who's gonna win? You gonna take out both of us? Nope. Oh wait. Oh, oh wait. If it comes down to me winning, losing, and you winning, yes, I do. Can't you pretty much choose any path on this one, or no? No, I have to oh, follow okay. the path. Yeah, you would go out first. And you still go out. I think you lost. Either you lose or you take me with you. <laughs> I'm just going to take you with me. We both lost. <laughs> so she didn't want to let give me the win, so no. she she, <laughs> she took me out. It's hard. two player. It seems easier in the beginning, but it's kind of harder to because you have more places to go. Three yeah. player, pretty much two people are definitely going to get eliminated. And yeah, it's easier with two pl or three players because you're you're kind of. Uh, Using more cards to see or but tiles. But you don't run out. Like you don't yeah. get to the point of running out of the deck. We didn't. Yeah, with the, the with the three players. So, yeah, this game is different every time because obviously you're drawing different tiles, and it's very simple. But there's also a lot to it because it's kind of hard to, to. I try to plan my moves ahead of time, but it's so hard to visualize. The path of where it's going with without kind of doing your it's kind of hard but yeah this is a very strategic easy game yeah. so if you like this video um, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already um, we'll have the product link in the description if you want to check this game out for yourself and we look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>